We saw his business get destroyed and a community come together to help save it. And today at 10 a.m., Dan Buxton's Play It Again Sports Store in La Mesa will reopen the doors. And Dan joins us now. Dan, thanks for being here this morning. Sure appreciate it. Wow, what a road you've been on. I just I can't imagine what it was like to see your businesses, your business just get destroyed. I mean, you were fighting for your livelihood here. My understanding is you even chased after some of the looters. Wow, what a busy couple of months it's been for you. Yeah, I mean, that night wasn't fun, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but but um we we're feeling pretty good right now. How amazing was it to see some of the people in the community coming together to help you out that night? And then fast forward, people have been helping out in other ways too. I mean, it's, been, it's been incredible. The whole, the whole seven plus weeks, it's just been amazing. Uh, the, the support we're, we've been seeing, um, it's just unbelievable. We're looking at some of the pictures. Yeah, boarded up windows, other people trying to uh, uh, donate equipment. I mean, people were in there. I, I remember watching live as people were walking out with uh, sporting equipment. And uh, it's just it's just difficult to see all the damage that was here. I mean, when we're talking about the losses, the damages, the repairs, uh, how much of a loss did you suffer? Well, the thing is, is that um, it was, if it was just the looting, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. But um, because there was fire, Smoke got into everything, right. and then the sprinklers um, were on for a long, long time. So water damage was severe. The smoke damage was severe. Um, everything in the store was touched by the smoke, so it was it was significant. So thousands of dollars, tens of thousands, or like everything was a loss. Uh, hundreds. Wow. <laughs> Probably a thousand in damage. Wow. Uh, but you've done a lot of the repair work yourself, like a true small business owner, right? I mean, you've you've been uh, putting a lot of sweat and blood and tears into this too, right? Well, yeah, but I, I mean, I've had a lot of help from volunteers, yeah. um, people who have donated time, professionals who have donated and donated their time. It's been a lot of help, but yes, I've been doing a lot of stuff myself as well. All right, let's see the reveal here. Show us around the store, would you mind? Just give us a little sure. tour because we saw the inside uh, or some of the exteriors when uh, everything was going on. And uh, look at this store. Look at how they have rebounded. This looks incredible. So, yeah, we were in the back of the store. I'm gonna take you up to the, what's gonna be the main attraction probably today. That's gonna be the, uh, the weights and, oh, for and sure. fitness, dumbbells, all that. Yeah, the workout at home thing, that craze is definitely happening with yeah, gyms shut down. Yeah, that's big. Um, we got a lot of bikes in stock. You can see them hanging up up here. Wow, it um, looks great, Dan. You know, um, water sports things. I know that's big right now. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, the weight benches, that type of stuff. And let me just tell we you, as you're, as you're walking us through the store here, I just wanted to mention a personal note. I, I have three kids, and we play a lot of sports, and they grow out of things so quickly, and they change sports, and they like this, they don't like that. This is why Play It Again Sports is so important to my family and other families is because you can go here and you can get equipment reasonably priced, Dan. Exactly. And then on top of that, we, we want to buy your equipment too. That's how we, that's our business is paying people cash for their equipment. A lot of people have been donating stuff and we're extremely grateful. Um, but what we want to be doing is paying people cash for their equipment. Can people still help out? What do you, what do you need? What can more people do? We want people to, to help us resume business the way it was. Come yeah. shop us and, and also come sell to us. Yeah, I mean, um, that's instead of a boogie board, and we just want to get it back to how it was. Sure, instead of a boogie board at Costco, you guys got perfectly good boogie boards there, or at any other business. But but coming in and helping out a small business who has just rebounded so much, like you have, Dan, um, that really goes a long way, right? Absolutely, and we we so appreciate everything that um, everyone's already done for us, and yeah. um, and we're looking forward to. Um, serving the community like uh, like we have in the past. Dan, you are a true small business success story. Your perseverance is just so admirable. Thanks for showing us around the store. It looks great, by the way. I can't wait to stop in. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, when are you open? 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. Okay, an hour and 42 minutes. Stop in there, get all your sporting goods needs. Dan, we really appreciate it, and we're proud of you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Let's send it back over to Heather now. Incredible how they've rebounded.
Oh, yeah, definitely. And uh, playing against sports, you know, saving me a lot of money because sometimes my kids want me to sign them up for stuff and then they stay in it for all of 30 seconds. So thank you to play it against sports. Dan, we'll see you soon. Your doors open at 10 o'clock this morning.